What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Jamal Charlo. Lions only. Jamal Charlo calls out Canelo Alvarez. He says, I want the Canelo fight. And this is what he says. He says that <clears throat> eventually we're going to fight. We don't even have to fight for no belt, said Charlo about Canelo. Look, Canelo Alvarez knows who I am. That's all I need to know. He know, he know who I am. I keep doing my job. Eventually, we're going to get in the ring. Obviously, everyone in this world are waiting on this fight. Canelo is the champ, and Canelo is, every, <clears throat> is everyone else is talking about, Jamal said. I don't hear nobody saying Demetrius Andre, Danny Jacobs, or Golovkin anymore. All I hear is Canelo, so all I want to do is fight the best in the world. Look, I want to feed my family like I told you. I'm going in to go in there and put up. I'm 29. Canelo's 29. We're both in our prime. Look, I'm 30 and 0. I've had enough accolades to, to fight him. I'm the WBC champ. I want the shit to happen just as much as you. But as soon as I take a fight off of this contract, they're going to say you're already tied into a fight. That's what's been going on for the last couple years, said Charlo. Hmm. Okay. Look, <clears throat> Charlo is an undefeated fighter. Charlo has had a lot of controversy about his claims to want to fight certain fighters. Um, he already really whistle blew on himself in his own live chat about an, a particular offer that was claimed that he never received, which that speaks for itself, you know. Um, as far as wanting to fight Canelo, I can understand him wanting that fight because that's the fight that everyone wants, just like all the welterweights wanted the Pacquiao fight. It's the same difference. Canelo is the cash cow. Canelo's made the money. <clears throat> and I know everyone wants a piece of that pie, right? But I think it's not even about the piece of the pie. I think it's really about what they can get, what the offer is. It ain't going to be a piece of a pie. It's a the zone. It's a streaming app. Okay, so I don't know what they're used to over on the PBC side. But obviously, if he hasn't been in any pay-per-view, pay he won't have to worry about that anyway, you know. But the strange thing about this is he wants to fight the best, but nobody's talking about uh, Andre, Janny Jacobs, or Golovkin anymore. So I want to fight the best. Well, newsflash. Golovkin, Danny Jacobs, and Andra Andrade are the best people. If you fight one of those guys that puts you in position to fight Canelo, um, I think the thing for Jamal to do is to focus on getting those fights, then beating those guys more convincingly than Canelo, then you can pair them up. We can compare what you've done with the mutual opponents as Canelo's already faced to, you know, to what he's done. And if you can do it better, he has an argument. But until then, he's at 160 pounds. He really hasn't fought anybody credible. Let's be real. You know, um, Matt Karaboff gave him a lot. He hurt him in the 12th round. He got proved, Jamal proved he was tough, but he proved that a good counterpuncher can beat him. And Matt Karaboff is pretty much at 160 the best person he has on his record. So to go from Matt Par Karaboff, a 36-year-old guy, to Canelo Alvarez without fighting Jacobs, Golovkin, Andrade. It's just ridiculous, you know? As you know, I think people want to do too much or want to do more than they're really responsible for, than they really earned. I think they want it for no reason, you know? You're not just going to get a Canelo fight, you know? Unless Canelo, um, especially being over on that side because – Jamal Charlo, he, he would have to fight. He would have to pull a Andy Ruiz, basically, and go over there, you know. And the thing that makes me suspicious on that, he says, we don't have to fight for no belts. Okay, that's kind of weird. So that obviously tells me that he's doing it for the cash, you know. He wants to cash out on a Canelo fight without doing anything else, you know. But 
I find it strange that when Canelo became the WBC franchise champion at 160, and then they gave him the belt, you know, you hear Charlo saying, hey, I'm the champ, I'm the champ. He was given the belt because they gave someone else a, a, a higher belt or a more prestigious belt amongst the WBC. But the WBC super middleweight champion of the world, if you did nothing to earn it, how can you warrant a particular fight with Canelo? Basically, you took his leftovers and you refused to fight these Golovkins, these, the, you know, these Andrades, the, these Danny Jacobs. You know, you refuse to fight these guys and we don't know how you will match up. It's a process. It's levels to this. And a lot of fighters have to, under have to understand it. Dillian White understands that. You know? Uh, Errol Spence is learning that. Why? Because now he's fighting guys that... And what happened? The knockout stopped, right? Because the competition was heightened. Okay? So we have to learn more about Jamal Charlo before Jamal Charlo can um, call out a fight like that. Now... The funny thing about a fight with Canelo, didn't Oscar De La Hoya already send him a contract? You know, but he claims, oh, well, I, was already, I was already in a fight. And you know what? If that's, I, you've already tied into a fight. I don't believe that. You know why I don't believe that? For the same reason that Edislandi Lada was supposed to fight Ishe Smith. And when the Canelo fight came available, what did he do? He broke contract with that and fought Canelo instead. No harm, no foul. And that was a PBC Al Heyman guy fighting Canelo back in the day, back in 14, okay? So you can't say, oh, uh, I get into a fight and that's the reason why I didn't fought him because when they offered me, see, yeah, I was already in a fight. You can break contract just like a lot I did. You know, he made a million plus, right, to fight Canelo. And back then, it was a lot of money. These guys wanting four or five million dollars. Well, damn. You know, I know it's a full contact sport, but these guys wanting fights, and let's be real, on paper, they haven't received, he hasn't received millions. He hasn't reported them. Forbes, don't, even Forbes don't know what I got. Well, if Forbes don't know what you got, I think you need to shut up because that means that someone else is giving you more money under the table and you're just asking people to in investigate on really what you made. And the last thing he wants to do as a boxer is get audited because then they're going to want to know, okay, well, how did you buy this and where did you get the money to buy that based on what you claim you made, you know? But what we know he's made, it ain't been a million dollars, okay? So I don't really buy the, um, I don't really buy the, um, oh, I had a fight already because that's a Canelo fight. You, of all people, should know what's the most important fight. And again, we haven't heard any contract from uh, Jamal Charlo given from uh, Oscar De La Hoya. Things become hush-hush. I think when action takes place, people get quiet. Jamal Charlo, he, yeah, he's been talking. He wants the Canelo fight now. But what's then really happened? He's ducked Andrade. Right? And that's a whole nother video. But he's ducked Andrade, and now he calls out Canelo. But last month, we just found out that Oscar De La Hoya offered him a fight with Canelo. And it silenced everything. So now he's, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But the whole narrative was Canelo was ducking him. <laughs> you know what I mean? So everybody was saying Canelo's ducking Jamal. I'm like, that don't sound right. Why? Because... Why would Canelo duck someone like Jamal Charlo? I mean, let, let's face it. I mean, what does he have? I mean, he's powerful. He's big. He's a big, powerful guy. I get it. But what does he have that Danny Jacobs don't have? You know what I mean? Punch and power. Jacobs got that skill set. Jacobs, I think, has more of that. Speed. Jacobs, I think, has more of that. You know what I mean? Mobility. Yeah. Strength, toughness. Because So this is what you ask yourself. Like, what does Jamal have that should worry Canelo Alvarez for him to duck Jamal Charlo? See, all these contracts are, are now, and these promoters are saying, hey, well, we offered him this, and we offered him that. Now you go back around and say, hey, okay, I want to fight for no belts this time. I'm like, okay, I thought you wanted to be the unified middleweight champion of the world. That shit sounds very familiar. 
you know, is this maybe a cry? Like, I want this fight, and now I want this fight versus back then I don't want this fight. You know what I mean? Like, what has changed since then to now? You know, you've already been, been counterpunched uh, 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 to duck a fighter, and that's Andrade. So what else do we have? And even if uh, an offer, because you, we know what's going on with Canelo, with Billy Joe Saunders and Caleb Smith, now think about this. These guys, Caleb Smith and Billy Joe Saunders, if it was such a big deal, a Jamal fight was such a big thing and everybody wanted to see that, why is he, why is he focusing on 168 instead of 160? Because he's a champ in both. He's a champ in all three, honestly. But if it was just that big, people would be like, hey, man, what Jamal, Jamal? No, no one's really looking for Jamal, okay? Jamal has not been proven at 160. He's focused on 168. Why? Because Billy Joe Saunders the champ there, and Callum Smith, the other champ there, are more important, okay, over a world demographic than Jamal Charlo is, okay? So he's thinking that I'm, the, I'm, this, I'm this important dude, I'm the champ, okay? Stop listening to your entourage. You know, they're delusional at this point. You need to fight better competition to get you a resume there so we can have something to compare you to, okay? You with Canelo, that's what he needs to do. That's my counterpunch on that. You guys tell me what you think about Jamal Charlo calling out Canelo Alvarez. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been counterpunched. Peace.